loves, it is Leslie Ann here. Um, today I'm going to be colouring my hair. I haven't coloured it for absolutely ages. Um, I'm just, I've had enough of it. I've got so much grey in here. Not that I have a problem with the grey, but I do have a bit of a problem with the, like the mix of colours, you know. So I'm going to be dyeing my hair today, as I say. So I thought I would share that with you. Um, this is the colour that I've been using for a long time now, and it's a Garnier one, and it's Belle Colour, and this is 9.3 is the shade. Um, the shade is called Natural Light Honey Blonde. So there it is. So what I'm going to do is brush my hair first. So I'm just going to take out this bubble. Just give it a good brush. Oh actually I'm going to take my earrings out. I think also because of like lockdown etc, not going anywhere, I know I've been doing my YouTube uh, videos etc, every time I edit them I think oh gosh I really need to do my hair you know, but um, because we're not sort of going anywhere nor the rest of it, sort of just I don't know, you get a bit lazy with it don't you really. So I'm going to do it this time how I originally used to colour my hair. Now for the last goodness knows how many months now, I've been colouring it like the, tra uh, the traditional way. You know, we just break the top off and you use that to go through your hair like that. And it is a lot quicker. But I'm going to go back to the way that I used to do it. And I will link up above in the cards. Um, and I'll also pop it down in the description box. I have already shared a video. It's a different colour though. Uh, a really pretty colour. I wish I could go to that colour again. But I, I do grow the, um, the old roots come through too quickly now to have a darker colour. So, um, But yeah, I'll share that with you. Um, so what I did back then is I sectioned my hair off so just sort of take like a section like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a really sort of thin band Just sort of very much like that, so that when I do my roots, can you see it's pulled it up and I can get to the root um, really, really easily. Let me go back a bit, there we go. So that's like the first one done. I think I've been every other colour since, you know. Right, so I'm just going to do the sides a bit now. sectioned off now. So as I say I'm using this colour. So you start off using your, your first bottle, the activator, and then you take your, your colour If it's the first time you've coloured your hair, of course, please read the instructions and do it exactly as the instructions say. Don't sort of do anything that I would do, you know. And also, because I'm just doing what is supposed to be a touch-up, I'd normally just keep this on the roots for 20 minutes, but I'm actually going for 30 because I haven't done my roots for so long um, and they, they're in great need of being done. So I'm going to go a little bit longer this time. So lid off of that one, the activator. Now I'm going in with the um, colour. I've also got the conditioner over here. Squeeze it all in. Okay, that's all in. Lid back on. Give it a shake. And 
They never fit well, do they, these gloves? Right, so normally I would do it this way and I would just like put it, sort of use it to go through the roots and I would squeeze it on and just take it through to the next section and the next section. But I'm not doing it that way this time, so I can take that lid off altogether because I don't need it. Because I'm using a bowl. So this is all now going into the bowl. So now I'm going to take the little tinting brush and I'm going to start to apply it like this on all the roots, okay? I'm going to put you onto a time lapse for that with some nice music. it so I've done all the roots um, I'm now going to wait for 30 minutes and then I'll come back take these little bubbles out and then just work it all through the rest of my hair um, and down to the length so see you in 30 so 30 minutes is up so I'm going to just put my gloves back on oh I hate these things they make all sweaty and <clears throat> they never really fit properly do they anyway let's get them on Take out my little, take these out. Now things are right, I'm just going to brush that through my hair. This is a natural bristle brush and it actually goes through quite well and then I can just give it a good wash. I should take it into the shower with me to wash it. Right, so now with the rest of the mixture that I've got, just going to sort of go all the way over the top. Right, I'm now going to just sort of Make sure that it's in all the roots. So I'm going to leave it for 10 more minutes, then I'm going to pop into the shower and I'll come back once I'm showered. Oh, it feels so much better, doesn't it? Right, let's get this little turby twist off, see what the colour has come out like. Yep, the same as it always is, thank goodness. Absolutely love this colour because it's blonde but it's not over the top blonde on me. I mean on the model it's that colour. It doesn't go that colour on me, it's still darker than that. Um, which I actually like. So, super conditions, I can get my ball brush through it so easily. And what I prefer to do when I've just coloured my hair I, if I'm not going anywhere, then I prefer to just leave it to dry naturally. So that is what I'm going to do. And then I'll pop back on afterwards so that you can see the colour of it dry. Just left to dry naturally. Um, I'll just pop a little bit of a side part in there. I'll just let it dry. As I say, naturally. Naturally. 
and oh there we are no no roots anymore no roots well not for long anyway <laughs> give it a few weeks i'll be back when my hair's dry here we are then my love so this is the color when my hair's dry so as i said i left it to just dry naturally and um yeah i love this color i really really like it i think it looks a little bit darker on me than it does on the girl in the box but um i love it i just really like this color and i'm so glad i've done it again <laughs> it makes you feel so much better doesn't it if you have enjoyed this video then please give me a nice big thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe to my channel i'd really love that and don't forget to press the notification bell for more videos until then i'll see you in the next one my lovelies bye bye <laughs>